What's up, y'all? I'm back. I know, I know it has been forever. You guys hear the same story every single time, but you know what? This has been a highly requested video and I am here to share the deets on how your girl done got thick, thick. This is just so funny. You know, I never thought I would even be making a video like this because it's just very hard for me to think. Like if Jasmine a year ago, if, if Jasmine now were able to speak to Jasmine a year ago and be like, bitch, you about to have ass. I would have been like, stop lying. Did I buy it? <laughs> and if I would have said, no girl, homegrown, I would have been like, word. <laughs> because that shit is like really crazy. Even still to this day, I look at myself and I'm just like, wow, the time has finally come. Miss Booty then came into the building. Miss Booty finally showed up. She stopped playing with me. Miss Thighs, Miss, Miss Hips. Miss Titties done walked into the building. And I, I am just, I'm starstruck. I've been wanting to make this video for a long time. And you know, I could have just made a short little video on Instagram or like just kept that shit to a minimum in my Instagram story or caption or whatever. But honestly, it's more to it than just a caption. I wanted to break it down as much as I could just to try to share with you guys like the juicy details the juicy, the juicy details of how I gained 30 pounds from August 2020 to September 2021. Now that is going from a solid 141 pounds, give or take, to a current 172.5 pounds. And I know, I know people are like, there's no fucking way, uh, bitch, that scale says 172. And I ain't got no reason to lie to y'all. And I will keep it 100 through this entire video just because I want y'all to know exactly what the fuck Jasmine's been doing to get <laughs> to 172 pounds. So, um, yeah, let's just jump into it. So the first, the first thing I'm going to do is just show you guys an example. This was me in August 2020, and this was me in September 2021. I know, shocking. The reason why it just comes off so shocking even still to me is because this was not intentional. It's not like I like set a goal to reach by a certain time. It's not like I've been doing any type of supplements, additives. I did not get a BBL. Let me repeat, I did not get a BBL. I'm so happy that y'all think I got it like that to go to fucking wherever the fuck and get a BBL. But if I were to get one, best believe my stomach would be gone. But no, everything, everything is full. The arms are bigger. The arms are bigger. The thighs match the ass. And the stomach is stomaching. So anyway, just know it was not intentional and no, I have not been taking any additives. I have not been doing any supplements. I have not been doing anything except eating good and occasionally working out and drinking. So it all started when I moved to Germany. I was not um, doing anything except for really being in quarantine. And I was, that left me with nothing to do really, but to eat. First of all, cooking my own meals and to drink wine. Now, the German folk, okay, the Germans know how to throw the fuck down. The German people are known for, like, partying and knowing how to party. So when I, upon me moving to Germany, my girl Jazz, who was also, um, who was also out in Germany, she is American when she was out in Germany, she said, just get ready because we like to party. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so it was just a matter of me like keeping up with the, the culture. And I was drinking wine more often and I was taking shots with the German folks. So that, that alone, even though it's not recommended to drink a whole bunch of alcohol, that is just a lifestyle change that I have taken on since last year. What differences have happened in my life between last year and this year. One of those things is drinking alcohol. 
because it's known for making you gain weight. And although that wasn't necessarily the reason why I was partaking, that is the result that I was given. So, and that, that explains the stomach. So back to me being in quarantine in Germany, the only places that were really open were the grocery store. Like that was an outing for me, being able to go to the grocery store and just get creative with my meals. Mind you, last year I was not really cooking my own meals. I was kind of put on to HelloFresh to get me started with like preparing meals. But now your girl, your girl be chefing it up. Eventually I probably will like look into doing some type of like bad jazz recipes or whatever. But it's just like, it's become a very fun activity for me to prepare meals for my loved ones and for myself because I do love food. Bigger portions is another recommendation if you're wanting to gain weight because of course smaller portions are for people who are trying to lose weight. So again, if you're wanting like to lose weight, you would think less calories or count your calories. And if you're trying to gain weight, of course you still wanna be healthy or make smart choices, but you will have to have more calorie intake. So just eat more sis. And I know if you have a high metabolism, that's just not gonna work for you. But that's another thing that has happened within the past year that I already know for a fact. Aside from me eating more, yeah, like my metabolism has slowed down. When I turned 24 back in April, that's when shit really hit the fan and I was like, oh, you know, it's known for women to go through that final stage, second stage, whatever you wanna call it, of maturity within your body. And that shit is true. I'm not gonna say it happens to everybody, but it did happen to me. I definitely started to fill out in certain places more. Okay, so going back to the type of meals that I was making, I had meals with a lot of carbs because German people also love their bread. So I was eating a lot of bread, I was eating a lot of pasta, and I was eating a lot of protein, high protein meals, like steak um, and chicken breast. So that's also recommended because of course protein is good for putting on weight and keeping the weight. And I also had um, grains in my, I had grains a part of my meal. So I would like have rice a lot with my boyfriend. Um, a typical meal that I would make would be like either steak or chicken with peppers, um, onions, some type of vegetable, like two vegetables and rice. Fast forwarding to June of this year is when I really started to take the gym more seriously because once I started realizing, you know, oh, I'm starting to put on this weight, I took it upon myself to want to tone or take it a step further as far as building my body and wanting it to be more of a fit physique instead of just, oh, I'm just gaining weight and then hoping for the best. <laughs> you know, I, I was noticing the changes and the pros and cons of gaining weight um, versus, you know, you have your pros and cons for being skinny, you have your pros and cons for being bigger. It's just whatever floats your boat. But of course I was noticing stretch marks. You can't really do anything about that, it's whatever. And I was noticing um, cellulite and just the, the normal things that happen when your body is changing. And I took it upon myself to get a gym membership. Mind you, I am not, the type of bitch to go to the gym. Up until this year, I did not have a membership really. I, I had a membership that I was just paying for for no reason, but I did not actually commit to going to the gym on a consistent basis until this year. Currently, I am going to the gym, just not as often. I went from going five days a week to maybe like, <laughs> like two days a week. Um, the workout plan that we were doing at the time is Capri Curves on Instagram. Her workout plan, I think it's called Drop the Fat, Keep the Curves, Lose the Weight, Keep the Curves, something like that. Keep your curves. So if you um, go to her Instagram, I'm just going to link her real quick because she did help your girls out. Like we, we noticed the difference in our body. Now you're going to be putting in some work now, so don't think you're just about to be sitting there doing jumping jacks and shit for 45 minutes. No, she wants you to hurt. She wants you to be sore the next day. And I mean, beauty is pain. So I stuck to a workout plan and that workout plan is amazing. 
I am cooking my own meals. I don't really eat out like that anymore. And that way I'm just able to prepare whatever I want, you know? I would say have your carbs, have your protein, and um, have your, your grains. But drink you a little glass of wine and you good to go, sis. <laughs> via badges <laughs> no but aside from what i was doing my body was already kind of changing on its own as far as maturing and my metabolism slowing down so i mean i really hope that this was helpful in some type of way but overall regardless of if it wasn't um, what you were expecting i still wanted to share this information with you guys because everyone has been curious everyone's been asking yeah, it, it was just an accidental weight gain, y'all. I don't know what else to say, but thank you again for watching. I love you guys so much. And until next time, bye.